setting up your eBay store. Hello, welcome and thank you for choosing this video course. In this video, I'm going to guide you step by step on how to set up your very own eBay account as well as your eBay store. When it comes to setting up your very own eBay account, it's as easy as setting up your own social media account. Before we jump into setting up your eBay account, there are two types of accounts that you need to know about from the start, which is the personal account and the business account. There are two means to determine if you should go with a personal or business. If eBay is all new to you, start with a personal account first. If your business blooms, you can consider stepping up into the business account without any loss of previous transaction history. If you already have an established retail or online business, you can straight out go for the business account. With that being said, if you start your very first online business and you've decided to opt for a business account, make sure your business is set up legally. That is, implying that registering your business name with your state and abides to your state's law regarding sales tax collection. Compared to a business account, there are several advantages to it. If you have an established company, you can register using your company name, which would be displayed in all communication with your buyers, such as invoices and emails. If you're based in countries under the European Union, you can provide the value-added tax, VAT, percentage to buyers when you list your item. Additionally, you can receive net invoices for the selling fees from eBay by providing eBay with VAT identification number. Other than that, there will be tax advantages, but it's best to check with your accountant or your legal advisor. So, you may be still asking yourself if I should still register as a business account. There are several simple factors to determine if setting up a business account is the right path for you. If your business model is based on what is listed below, it is a good thing for you to start up a business account. Sell items that you have bought to resell. Sell items you have produced yourself. Sell a large amount of items on a regular basis. Sell new items that you bought but don't use personally. Buy items for your business. Now, if you've determined which account to use, let's kick things off with your seller account. Please ensure your key information such as name, address, and phone are correct. Other than that, there are two aspects that you need to specify as well, which is selecting your automatic payment method for paying your seller fees and eBay money-back guarantee reimbursements. On the home page, there are links to sign in or register. Left-click on register to begin setting up an account. This will take you to a screen where you are required to enter your personal information. You will be required to key in your email twice and a password. Once you've done that, you are required to key in your first and last name followed by your phone number depending on which country you're based in. Click to continue to head back to the home page or you can customize your own username or choose from the name suggested below before you proceed to save. To sign up for a business account, click on the Business Accounts section below. You will be directed to this page where you are required to fill up your business information and business contact information. Next, you will be entering the verification code shown above, which is a six-digit number. Left-click the box icon beside I agree to the following to indicate that you have agreed to the user agreement and privacy policy before clicking continue. To change your account from personal to business, scroll to the top left bar and hover to pop up the account section and select account settings. On the next page, click edit to change the account type. Key in your business name and proceed to complete the process by clicking change to business account. eBay offers three types of selling features for you to manage your sales and they are accessible from your eBay account page. My eBay. My eBay which helps you manage individual sales and it's exceptionally useful for beginning sellers. The selling tool is practically free and it is already a default tool under your eBay account at the Selling section. Selling Manager Selling Manager helps you handle multiple sales in less time. Through this tool you can manage listings, track sales and perform common post sales tasks such as handling feedback, email, payments and shipping. There are no fees required and you can subscribe to it for free. Selling Manager Pro 
Selling Manager Pro handles a bigger volume of products and sale to save time and it includes the entire feature from the default Selling Manager, plus the capability to automate common sales tasks, track inventory, as well as storing reusable listing templates. Upon subscribing to the feature, you will be given a free 30-day trial for first-time subscribers before a monthly subscription is charged for $15.99 to your eBay account and will appear on your monthly invoice. To fully utilize and manage your seller's account, it's best to change your default My eBay Tool to the Selling Manager Tool as it helps you with streamlining and optimizing the way you can sell your items. To subscribe to the Selling Manager, scroll to the top left bar and hover to pop up the Account section and select Account Settings. Click the Subscription section and you will head to this Feature Picture page and scroll to eBay Selling Manager and click to Subscribe to Selling Manager. This is the Selling Manager subscription page where you can choose your subscription level between the free version and the pro version. Once you've confirmed choosing the Selling Manager, which is free, proceed to the Continue button to confirm the changes. After you've keyed in all your personal details, you'll need to determine an automatic payment method for your selling fees. You may be wondering, what is a selling fee? Basically, anything you are selling on eBay, you are required to factor a certain amount of fee depending on what kind of item you're selling. Your selling fee essentially is used for enlisting your selling items into the list. If there is any chance you would like to change your payment method, it can be done at any time by following the method down below. 1. Go to My eBay. 2. Click the Account tab. 3. In the Payment Methods for Seller Fees section, click the Change Automatic Payment Method link and then make your selection. 4. Follow the on-screen instructions. Moreover, you can also make a one-time payment option which allows eBay to collect your selling fee from your credit card or bank account only when you choose. You can choose from one of the following payment methods. 1. PayPal 2. Direct Debit 3. Credit Card That being said, you can make your one-time payment which is a manual, non-recurring payment option where you authorize eBay to collect a payment from your credit card or bank account at any time by following the method down below. 1. Go to My eBay. You may be asked to sign in. 2. Click the Account tab. 3. Under Payment Methods for Seller Fees, click the One-Time Payment link and follow the on-screen instructions. Just like a physical store or a web store, the eBay Store is a comprehensive e-commerce solution that helps you get more out of the eBay marketplace and the millions of buyers worldwide who shop on eBay. With eBay Store, you gain exclusive marketing and merchandising tools along with customization features to make your eBay Store outstanding to gain the trust of your customers. Things to note about having an eBay Store is that you need to have a seller account with your credit card on file. Moreover, you need to have a PayPal account up and verified as well. After you have successfully opened up your eBay store, you should be prompted to subscribe to the eBay store by choosing a subscription level based on your personal needs. When it comes to deciding which to subscribe to, the basic store is the best option if you are new or an experienced online business. Moreover, if eBay is a new platform for you to conduct e-commerce business, it's best to choose the monthly subscription to test out the market before considering using eBay as a long-term online business site. Once you have keyed in your desired store name, click Continue to proceed to the order page details before proceeding to confirm your monthly subscription to the basic eBay store.